Welcome to the Zen Zone. I'm at the headquarters, the headquarters of Psycho Therapeutico. He's showing me the day six. Day six. We will be in the Reyes Magos Pride with our electric unicycles and an amazing costumes. So we're going to go to this parade with our electric unicycles, and we're going to be escorting and throwing candy and stuff. Pretty sweet. Welcome to the Zen Zone, by the way. We're going to be doing a full-on Spain experience. We're starting here in Psycho's room, and we're going to go downtown to where the cathedral is and where my hostel is, and you're going to get to see some of the most beautiful architecture in the world. Along the way, we're going to talk about where emotion went wrong, and we're going to talk about Bagode's new wheel that has been revealed. So stay tuned. Psycho's going to stay here because he's sick. <laughs> So we're going down the stairs. I wanted to talk about this helmet because a lot of people have been asking me what helmet I have. It is the new Olders helmets. It comes from Brazil. It's made in Brazil. It's a pretty sweet helmet. What I love most about it is the visibility you get. You get a lot of visibility with this helmet. What I don't like about it, it's not motorcycle motorcycle grade. So if you're going high speeds, you're probably gonna want motorcycle grade helmet. I have hit this many times. You can see I had to put some like nail polish on there to cover it up. I got the intercom. They use these a lot here in Spain, especially Valencia for communications. I don't think uh, too many people use them in the US, but it is very useful to have. Uh, the helmet is really lightweight. What I like most again is the visibility. And we are almost to where my wheel is downstairs. So I keep my wheel locked up. I don't know if this is the right frame rate for recording. So I got my wheel GT. I remember the name of it this time, the Extreme Bull GT with the Clark pads. I'm locked up right here. All right, so our journey has begun on the Extreme. I don't know why I've been calling it the Extreme. <laughs> it's the Extreme Bull GT. Amazing wheel. So we're coming outside here to the streets of Sevilla. Cycle lives kind of uh, away from the city center. We're gonna be going to the city center and there's a convenient bike path that goes all the way and connects pretty much the whole city. We might actually go through this park here. So again, what we're gonna be talking about in this video, the new Bagode wheel that has been teased by Aubrey. She is the number one creator in the world for electric unicycles in terms of views. She is getting the most views, so I think Bagode, Bagode, in my opinion, their back is, again, we're gonna go check out this park. We'll cut through this park and then we'll connect back to the bike path. Very beautiful park. There are tons of parks here in Spain and just a nice place to ride through. I need to check on my microphone, make sure it's actually connected. If you guys like this kind of blogging format where I'm riding around recording and showing you the beautiful scenery of Spain, please hit the thumbs up. Leave a like. If I could get 50 likes, I'll make another video like this. And honestly, I'll probably make another video like this again because I enjoy doing it. It's a fun way to connect with you guys and to answer your comments. I have a lot of questions about Spain that I'll be answering in this. But the main topic was the Bigode, new Bigode wheel that has been teased by Aubrey, the number one content creator in the world. Almost 1 million subs. She makes Kuji and Wrongway look like child's play. And so I think Bigode is feeling a little bit desperate because... This wheel is totally brand new and has not, as far as I know, been tested. I haven't seen any test videos for it. So sending it to Aubrey, who she's not someone that wears a lot of safety gear or anything like that, just a helmet, I think, for the most part. And so for me, I'm a bit worried because I've seen what, ha what has happened to people like Marty and other people that have tested new, brand new wheels, especially if this wheel may be 168 volts. Uh, it could be another, it's like the Commander Pro GT, which I have seen Bego testing the, the Commander Pro GT. For me, I'm not so interested in that wheel because it's just a bit too big, a bit too heavy for me. If you're a bigger dude and you have more muscle, like uh, Joyride Jane, he's a big, strong guy. I think it's a great wheel for him. He's actually excited for that wheel. And the, the free spin on it is amazing. But for me, my, my saying has always been, my kind of advice has kind of been the wheel should be around give or take half your weight so if it's more than half your weight it's going to be it's going to be more the more it is over your weight the more difficult it is going to be for your legs to manage that's just a general rule a general guideline when you're looking if you're a new rider you don't want to go heavier 
than half your body weight in general. Now, my new favorite wheel, if you don't already know, is the Lynx. I have one on the way. I'm really excited to get back on the Lynx. And it is about half my body weight, so that's perfect. So we got our first like stoplight here. And first stoplight, you gotta kinda just wait for traffic to go. We are in the northern part of Spain. This guy's just going for it. The general rule for running red lights for me is if there's an old person running the red light, then it's okay for me to run the red light. That's my general rule for running the red lights here. If you see other people doing it, then especially if they're like older, then it's okay for me to do it. But also you gotta be careful because if you follow the pace of somebody else, you might get smacked, but now it looks clear. Let's go ahead and step on through it. Yep, clean, clean entry. So the Lynx, in my opinion, has put Bagode into defensive mode. They are really needing a hit wheel. Now with the Lynx is, I think, already a bestseller. Uh, they're reporting record sales already, and I think it's gonna continue. What I like about the Lieberkin wheels is they have longevity. They're not gonna be outdated in a week by the own company or a month. Sometimes Bagode has a habit of releasing wheels and then releasing a better wheel a few, a few weeks later, even if sometimes even a few days later. I mean, this GT that I'm riding on now was outdated almost immediately. So that's something people really love about Leaperkim is the fact that they have longevity. I really feel that buying the Lynx right now, it's gonna be a wheel that lasts you a long time. It could be any Leaperkim wheel is gonna last you a long time. Their lineup, the Sherman S for long range, the Leaperkim kind of medium range, and performance in the patent smaller lighter well it's not smaller uh it's smaller but it's not lighter than the lynx man because because of the parts but man for a stunt wheel i think the patent is really good and also depends on your body type if you're kind of a long lanky dude you want a bigger wheel if you have short if you have a kind of a short squat build uh you're a bit shorter than me i would recommend the patent you don't need a lynx it might be uncomfortable the patent has plenty of power and plenty of braking ability i mean it's I think the patent may even break better than the Lynx. It's have to do some tests on that. But the, both those wheels, the patent and the Lynx, have an extraordinary braking. I have not seen a Bagode wheel that rivals the braking of one of these wheels yet. We just got passed by a patinete. Going too slow. I don't like to get passed by patinetes, but uh, we're having a vlog here, so it's going to happen. We're about uh, a third of the way to downtown where I'm taking you where the cathedral is and everything like that. See, we could run this red light here. Looks like it's fine. Boom. Other people are running it, then it's fine to run it. I love how there's all these orange trees here in Spain too. Valencia and Sevilla, they have tons of orange trees. I need to take an arm break, so we're gonna turn off the camera here. Quick look around. All right, we are back on the road on this that just connects and links to like everywhere in the city. You can get around on this bike path to pretty much anywhere you need to go in the city. There will be a few uh, spots where you have to get onto the road, but mostly you could just take this bike path the whole way, especially to where I'm going in the hostel. It's very easy. And yeah, uh, I like the bike path as opposed to the road because you can just go tranquilito, which is my favorite word in Spain. Our topic, back to our topic with Bagode's back kind of being on the rope is not only are they, their back is kind of against the rope on performance wheels, the Lynx being, I think, the pound for pound most powerful wheel. I think if you even stack it up against the Commander Pro GT, the Lynx might come out on top in terms of power, uh, acceleration and torque. Whereas I feel like the top speed obviously will go to the Commander Pro GT. And I have, man, I have been more and more impressed with Leaper Kim as time goes by. I used to think the Sherman S, because it was only a 100 volt wheel, was inferior, but man, that Sherman S has way more power than I thought it was really stacking up against the commander pro and the master in terms of power and speed and you also get that bigger battery so you're going to get a lot more range let's take a quick look around so not only is bagode's back up against the wall in the performance area they're also man king song coming out with the s16 and s19 for like kind of beginner intermediate level wheels with great it's a great kit great speakers and see this is why you got to be careful even on even on this light was green right here, it's just now turned red, but you gotta be careful going sometimes because you will get smashed even on a green light here. Even on a green light, you can get smashed. So don't, uh, don't, think you, don't think the green light's gonna save you. Sometimes you just gotta just go with the flow. Okay, so now it's red, but people are still going. So we're gonna bounce on through and then stop here because we got a car in front. 
And uh, okay, just gonna let us go. Let us go. That's nice of him. <laughs> Perfect. So let's get a little POV here. My arm's getting tired from holding it up and re uh, recording. So not only is Bagode's back up against the wall from in the performance area of wheels, also in the new area of wheels with King Song, the S16, which I think is going to be a bestseller and it's going to bring a lot of new people in. And you can check out my review or my early impressions of S16. And I will be doing a more in-depth look at the S16 when I get back to Valencia. Right now I'm in Sevilla for a few more Maybe like another week. Right now I'm going to my hostel where I'll be staying for a few days. Uh, yeah, Bagode is in a lot of trouble. And so I feel like they had to pull out their big guns with Aubrey. We're going to go ahead and run this one. Aubrey is like their secret weapon. Almost 1 million subs. And she has teased the new Bagode wheel. Now, I've watched it slow-mo to see what I could find out about the wheel. I don't, I'm not sure that it's an 18-inch wheel. It looks like a street tire. It looks like an amazing tire, actually. I'm really impressed with the, the tire on it from what little I've seen. It looks like a street tire with a lot of performance. Uh, I'm guessing it has to be a 160 volt wheel like the Commander Pro GT. But man, we got some, uh, some police uh, guiding traffic through here. Maybe there's a, a football game or something like that. So, but they're, they're guiding the traffic through. Whistling to stop and we'll continue. All right, we are back on our way stadium is right here man when this thing is full it gets full and you can hear the vibrations and the cheering i've never felt like such an atmosphere it was uh, sevilla versus madrid i think and uh, i think sevilla won and it was just the atmosphere was crazy and these streets were just absolutely full of people so talking back to the new wheel what i really think bago needs is kind of two wheels a really good competitor that's not so heavy to compete with the lynx the Commander Pro GT is not really a competitor to Lynx, more to the Sherman because the Sherman is about the same weight. The, the Lynx, man, is such a great wheel because of the weight and the power, pound for pound. I think it's the most powerful wheel. Uh, we got some little... Now, the other wheel Bagode needs is a really good beginner intermediate wheel. The A2 is a great beginner wheel, but it doesn't scale well. We just had a friend here in Sevilla cut out on his a2 because i think as a beginner you get it and then you just eventually you want more and then it doesn't offer that all right we're back onto the bike path my phone and microphone were having some issues so i don't know how much of my audio was recorded or if i lost so i'm going to talk about some things again to recap uh to recap we're talking about bagode's new wheel that hasn't been officially revealed aubrey has it she has the most subscribers in the world and as an EUC influencer, she has the most. Uh, I'm a bit worried because if it's a high performance wheel, we're not going to get really good tests out of her in my opinion. Um, but you know, you'll get some of the, the guys that like her content will probably be happy to see her doing her thing on the wheels. Uh, for me, I personally, if it's a performance wheel, I want to see it in the hands of a performance rider. Uh, Roger or Maribel, if, if, if Bagode wants a female rider, give it to Maribel. She's the best female rider in the world. Un, un, unequivocally, the best female rider in the world. It's not even a debate. No female rider can even come close to her right now. So I would rather see a wheel, if it's a performance wheel, tested by a performance rider. If it's a beginner intermediate wheel, then they, they have the perfect person, as long as it doesn't have any issues. Because if it does have issues and she gets hurt, it kind of has the opposite effect. I think Bagode's like really hoping uh, to, to bring in new people and she has a lot of followers. So if the wheel looks good and brings in new people, that's great. But it also could have the reverse effect if she gets hurt and it, people like see her get hurt and they're like, oh wow, maybe this, this you, th you see things more dangerous than I thought. I do recommend safety gear. I mean, hopefully, I think she, I think I've seen her wear safety gear before. So she does have safety gear. Hopefully she wears it when testing the new wheel. We're getting closer to downtown. All right, so we beat this new wheel into the ground. I think there's not much to see about it, just the street tire. I hope it's a, I hope it's one of two wheels, like a beginner intermediate wheel because the A2 is a great beginner wheel, but it doesn't scale well. Or a performance wheel that competes with the Lynx and has speakers. My one complaint about the Lynx, really, my one major complaint is I love speakers. If, if the Lynx had speakers, I wouldn't really need my GT anymore. Because what I love about the GT, it's a performance wheel with speakers. 
and the links just doesn't have speakers and i'm not i don't like to carry like uh, an extra speaker it just it's not my thing i like the speakers in the wheel i like feeling the vibrations through the wheel the s16 and s19 have amazing so that would be i guess if i had to have two wheels i'd want either s16 or s19 and then a links for my performance wheel all right we are getting closer to downtown you can already see the cathedral there in the background i hear a scooter behind me so i gotta I'm going to step on it a little bit, give you guys a little bit of speed whilst looking around and seeing some of this beautiful architecture here. We do have a green light, so maybe we could hit this green light before this car tries to power through. All right, we are almost officially downtown now. We're going to see some amazing sights here. I'll probably keep the camera like this as we go uh, into some of the cathedrals. A little bit congested, so i got to be on my... A game zen zone here. People will just come into the bike path without looking. You gotta be super careful. Again, green lights don't matter so much, but we do have a green light here. Try to cut over here, do a little bit of cutting, and then we gotta stop here. So our next topic, we talked about the good new wheel, is where emotion went wrong. So I think emotion went wrong. We'll actually wait till we start moving again. All right, our next topic I wanted to talk about today is where I think Emotion went wrong. Emotion, in my opinion, is falling off. I would say Leaper Kim is probably doing the best in sales right now. Uh, and then King Song with the S19 and S16. I feel like they're going to start to catch up and get some of the new new riders market. And then uh, Lynx is starting to, or Leaper Kim. Leaper Kim is really starting to take over the performance markets. They just have an amazing lineup with the Patton, the Sherman S for long range, and the Lynx, just an amazing lineup. King Song with the, 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 the beginner intermediate, and a little bit of advanced wheels, and I've heard King Song is going to be releasing some new wheels in 2024, giving people some more range. So we'll see if that comes to fruition. And Motion, in my opinion, they're really in a bad place right now. And it all started with the V11. The V11 was revolutionary. I loved the V11. Most people that have a V11 loved it. It was only at 84 volt wheel, but at the time that was plenty of power. I mean, the v V11 is what, three years old now? I loved my V11. I loved everything about it until it broke and I couldn't get service on it. Emotion has made a bunch of tactical errors in my opinion, and not giving good service on the V11 was one of them, in my opinion. And then they had some kind of marketing thing. Wait, 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 that came after the V12, the marketing thing. So with the V12, V12, for me, in my opinion, and a lot of people I talk to's opinions, the V12 was a step in the wrong direction. They came off with an amazing suspension wheel, the V11. It was one of the first suspensions in the world. I think it's about the, around the same time as the S18. Amazing suspension wheels, revolutionized everything. Suspension changed the EUC game forever. Uh, we got the Metro going here. I don't know if we can actually go down here. There's a lot of police. I'm getting nervous. But... Uh, as long as you're being safe and being tranquil, I don't think it's a problem for, for uh, us to ride here. I don't know why there's so many police right now. I think that's just the norm here. Check out this view. Lots of architecture. People just chilling all the time, drinking all hours of the day. It's alcoholics paradise here. <laughs> so with the V12, it felt, to me, it felt like a step down. Not only in terms of tire size, going from the 18 inch wheel to the 16-inch uh, wheel, but losing the suspension. If they had made the V12 an 18-inch wheel with suspension, or even a 16-inch wheel with suspension, I would have loved it. And it's 100 volt. All I wanted from the V11 was it to get better service and for it to be 100 volts, or you know more than 100 volts. But at the time, 100 volts would have been a perfect step up to the V12. And then after the V12, they were coming up with the V13, and they did a sort of uh, marketing ploy on Instagram where they wanted people to come up with a name for the V13 and people came up with a name and I guess the prize was some sort of uh, some sort of wheel. I think it was the V11 or something like that. That's... Roger, roger. Okay, so we gotta go this way. We can't walk. Oh yeah, it's super crowded. So we can't go this way because it's super crowded. But we can get a nice nice shot here normally you can ride through here but during the holidays uh i don't think you can so we're gonna go around we're gonna have to find another way to the hostel 
or uh, just walking. The good thing about this is it has a trolley handle, so it's not a problem. But I want to keep riding and talking, so we're going to go around. Police here are totally respectful. I've never, I have almost uh, 8,000 kilometers, if not already have 8,000 kilometers. And uh, I've had no issues with any police, and I've been through checkpoints many times in Barcelona, and I have just never had a problem. Check out all these horses. I had a dream that I was riding, learning how to ride a horse yesterday. It was really interesting. It must have been inspired by seeing all these horses. I don't really, ah, man, the horse I was riding my dream was wild one too. It just felt more, more real than more of this. But it's cool, but I much prefer the electric transportation, electric transportation, not enslaving, uh, enslaving animals that just shit all over the nice city. I love horses, but uh, in the city, I just don't feel like they are the most optimal form of transportation. Let's cut through this little park here. I'm gonna show you another building that I really like. So with the V13 campaign, you come up with a name, you comment, and if you pick the name, not only will you have picked the name for their new will, but you will have won a will. And then every, after the contest was over, they were like, oh, nope, we don't like any of these names. I wonder if any of you guys remember this. If you remember this, uh, this thing, uh, this, what, what did you call it? If you remember this uh, renege by emotion, let me know in the comments. You'd have to be OG to remember something like this, I think. But it was during the time between the V12 and the V13, before the V13 came out. And then they decided, no, we don't like any of the names you guys picked. So nobody wins the wheel. And the community just, there was an uproar. We're like, what the heck? With this, everybody was trying to work hard to come up with a name. And then you decide not to pick any of the names. So there was a huge uproar. And it turns out Emotion, you know, felt the, the pain of this uproar and decided to, uh, to pick a winner and I don't know who got it, the V11 or whatever the prize was, but man, this is an amazing view, huh? Sevilla is really known for its beautiful architecture. So, and then the V13 came out and I've raced the V13. I love the V13. And my only complaint really with the V13, my only major complaint, there's a bunch of small complaints, but my only major complaint with the V13 is the quality of the suspension does not match up with the uh with the weight and the size of the wheel for a wheel that big you really need some quality suspension you really need you really needed like the top notch suspension like that sherman was using that the commander pro is using you really need that hydraulic cushy oil suspension but they just use basically use the same suspension that they had on the v11 so yeah it just really wasn't a step in the right direction and now with the v14 a V14 could have been a great wheel, and maybe it still would be. Maybe it just needs a little bit of work. My biggest complaint with the V14 is the uh, is the slow the amount of range it gets. There's it it is I think the tor most torquey 16 inch wheel, and it is the most powerful 16 inch wheel. I think that's undisputable. But uh, at the cost of range and with a 3 amp charger, if they had really just made sure the suspension was dialed in on that, Motion has not in my opinion, perfected suspension yet. Uh, Bagode and uh, Leaperkim have perfected suspension. As good as it's gonna get, uh, they've done a really good job. So I think that is it. We started at Cycle's house and now we are downtown. I gotta find my hostel, find a way to my hospital, unless I wanna walk there. We got the green light through here, so we'll just bounce on through. And we'll show you guys the river. Oh, we can't go. I'm not gonna risk my life here. I almost got hit by this. We're itching to go, so. Got a horse crossing through. So we'll try to end with a river shot here. But to recap quickly, first, if you could hit, if you made it this far, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment if you like this kind of vlogging sort of style of video in Spain. Uh, oh, I have a few more questions to answer. With all these beautiful bike lanes and lots of space to ride, the electric unicycle, e-bikes, and uh, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go there or not. <laughs> they had the green light. Okay, so here's the river. I think we could end here. I were asking me the legality of riding in Spain. And I think it just bottom boils down to how respectful you are as a rider. If you are being aggressive and you get caught, you're gonna have some problems. But if you're being super respectful, going you know below 25 kilometers and saving your, if you have a lot of power, you should save that for off-roading or competition. I don't think you're gonna have any problems, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on in Spain, but. I've been here for 8,000 kilometers and I've not had any issues. And I've been, again, I've been through checkpoints and I was just 
I was just uh, confronted by a police there just telling me to go go this way or to walk through that area because it was a congested area for the holidays right now. So they're just trying to keep people safe. That's the bottom line. The police here, they're not trying to be dicks, but you can always catch the wrong guy on the wrong day. I heard a V13 was confiscated in Barcelona and the V13 is so big. So I think that was the reason they took it. I don't know if he was being uh, aggressive or whatnot, but all he had to do was go pay a 50 euro fine and then he got his V13 back. So it wasn't too, too big of a deal. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlogging style of video. If you can give me 50 likes and some comments, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll keep trying to make these sort of vlogging videos. Maybe they're more immersive. Maybe it brings you closer to Spain so you can experience some of the love here in Spain, an amazing country. And I hope that PEVs stay legal so that you could come here and ride with me one day if I'm still here. Uh, again, the X Electric competitions are coming up. If you really want to help me out using my discount code if you live in Europe, or Russia even, I think you can use my discount code ZENLY50 to get yourself 5% off anything that's not on sale at OneRide.eu. They have an amazing service, amazing warranty, free shipping. I cannot say a, a great team. I cannot say enough good things about OneRide. They are really taking care of the community here in Spain and in Europe. They will take care of you. Their reviews are amazing. My discount code ZENLY50 will get you 5% off anything helmets, safety gear, tires, parts, anything that's not on sale at oneride.eu. Check them out. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.